Hello and welcome to Saturday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic on what is, uh, well, it's an anniversary for the channel. Um, it was six years ago today that we we, we made a video featuring our first ever Sudoku. It was a killer Sudoku. 26th of August 2017. Um, things have things have moved on since then, I think you could say. Um, and yeah, thank you so much to all of you. Many of many of you, are, you know, have been with us since we had sort of 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 subscribers. And um, we're now, uh, I think we're now just a little below 550. 50,000 subscribers it's in, it's just incredible what a journey we have been on what a journey the world of sudoku has been on so just a big thanks for, for coming with us on this trip um and today we've got a puzzle that i have very high hopes for it's called shade some more some lines and it's by zendari and i remember doing this is a sequel I remember doing the first puzzle a few months back. It was absolutely spectacular. And um, none other than Niberio, brilliant, brilliant solver and setter, uh, wrote to us to point this one out and said that it really should have more attention. Um, and um, he solved it and he said it's absolutely spectacular, but noted that only six people have solved this on Logic Masters Germany. And he, uh, he thought that we might be able to give this puzzle a bit more attention. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do. I think, I think, um, cause I solved the first puzzle on video and I think that video has about 85,000 views. So presumably quite some number of those 85,000 will have tried that puzzle. So six, six people seems too, it seems far too few. So Zendari, let's try and give this puzzle some love. Um, I think, I think the original puzzle only had circles in it. This one has, diamonds and squares as well and i don't know what the rating is Niverio said that it, it wasn't as hard as it looked <laughs> whatever that means um but anyway i'll read you the rules in a moment or two's time um and, oh and by the way i think mark's tackling a special anniversary sudoku um in his video later tonight so look out for that um what else do I have to tell you about? Not much today. I'm going to say happy birthday to another constructor, Doom Jot, uh, whose birthday it is today. So happy birthday, Doom Jot. I hope that you have um, chocolate cake, of course. And also to Ruth. Now, Ruth, I don't think has ever watched a Cracking the Cryptic video. In fact, I'm not sure Ruth spends very much time on YouTube, um, but her partner, Gareth, um, does watch the channel and has managed to secure from Ruth on her birthday uh, an assurance that Ruth is going to watch a Sudoku video <laughs> with him. So this might be the one, I guess. So happy birthday, Ruth. Um, I hope this is a good way to spend your birthday. Uh, I, I think it is. And thanks to Gareth for, for spreading the word about cracking the cryptic. That's very generous. Um, and Ruth, we hope you have chocolate cake on your birthday as well. And there's no other news. Um, we're working hard on the Patreon reward uh, for September, which will come out obviously on the 1st of September. So there'll be more news on that soon. Um, and I don't think there's anything else to tell you. So on this anniversary, let's have a go at Shade Some More Sun Lines. And I'll read you the rules of Zendari's puzzle. They are as follows. So normal Sudoku rules apply. Shade some cells in the grid such that all shaded cells are orthogonally connected. Now, just a reminder, if you're, if you're new to the word orthogonally, it might fill you with fear. It means something very simple. It just sounds complicated. Two cells are orthogonally connected if they share an edge. So those two cells form an orthogonal connection. Uh, these two cells are not orthogonally connected because they only touch one another at a point at a corner. We could make these orthogonally connected by introducing another cell like that. These are now orthogonally connected. So that's what orthogonal means. Um, now, here's, here's the interesting rule that these sum lines puzzles have. Within each three by three box, every separate orthogonally connected group of shaded cells must sum to N, where N is the same for all boxes. I can hear Mavericks taken off. I mean, how? How does he do this every day? It is ridiculous. Um, so let me just think about how, how are we going to do an example that shows that, what that's meaning. So the whole grid is orthogonally connected. The shaded cells are orthogonally connected. 
but with it we have to treat each each three by three box separately let's let's try and develop some sort of way that this might work so let's do that so let's let's just focus on this let's imagine that this was the total shading of the puzzle how would this work this would work and you can see everything is orthogonally connected within box one there are three different sort of patches of orthogonal connections there's this domino there's this domino and there's this solitary square so what we would be what would we would know if this was if it would be funny if this does turn out to be correct um and but if it does you know that's just luck it's not it's it's nothing more than that so what this would be saying is that n was seven for all three by three boxes in the puzzle oh no it's not going to be it's not going to be correct um because so these three cells would have to sum to seven these three cells would have to sum to seven those two cells would have to sum to seven and those two cells would have to sum to seven i think that's how that would work and the reason i can see it's not going to work is that i can't make those three sum to seven because of the two at the bottom of column four um but we'll gloss over that so that but that's i think what we've got to do now we've got these shapes in the grid they all mean different things so circles can be shaded or unshaded and the digit in a circle is the number of shaded cells in its three by three box so that's telling us there are two shaded cells in that box but it doesn't tell us whether this cell itself is shaded or unshaded um now squares are sh so squares are shaded and the digit in a square is the number of shaded cells seen horizontally or vertically combined from that cell including itself where unshaded cells block vision now i have read these rules before i turned on the webcam and that is a so-called cave constraint i think so let's try and find a square there's a square so let's let's fill in some cells that shade those cells around the square and let's make these squares all unshaded now if this was if this was the arrangement around this square one two three four five six seven that would be a seven i think is how i understand this rule to work and that's because if we look horizontally from the square we see four cells if we look vertically we see an, another three cells so all together this cell sees in inverted commas seven cells before it hits unshaded thingies so it's a slightly i mean admittedly if you've done as many puzzles as i have that that rule i i, I sort of i understand that rule because i've seen it so many times before i fully appreciate if you haven't seen many sudokus before and if you're poor ruth and this is the first sudoku you've ever ever done a sudoku video you've ever done you might think what on earth that's how it works honestly it's probably not that complicated maybe um let's see anyway we've still got one more shape diamonds diamonds are unshaded okay so diamonds are unshaded and the digit in a diamond is the size of the orthogonally connected group of unshaded cells that it belongs to so let's imagine that okay let's imagine the shaded cells did that and those were unshaded i think that means we would fill in four there because there are four in that unshaded group um and that, that's all the rules so that okay the rules are more complicated i think than the first puzzle do i have the first puzzle i think i did load it up let me just go and find it that's the first puzzle so um um that's the first puzzle so you can see that puzzle just had circles no diamonds and squares to work with so this one is more complicated but do have a go zendari's puzzles are always a treat and this one has been heavily recommended you can you can up the tally from well hopefully it's going to be seven if, if i if i can solve it in this video so from seven let's aim for eighty thousand. that would be good the way to play is to click the link under the video as usual but now i get to play let's get cracking now i'm definitely starting off by the, by the given things what did it say it said squares are shaded right so that's a shaded that's a shaded that's a shaded that's a that's a nifty little shape in the bottom isn't it that's got both that's got both circle and square properties um there's no other squares i don't think there's not many squares 
And what was the other thing? Diamonds. Diamonds are unshaded. So we've got those unshaded. And di okay, so diamonds are counting. Ah, I was about to say. I was about to say, do we have to keep these diamonds apart? But we don't, do we? If, if these diamonds were joined up, it doesn't say that they can't be in the same group. And it's to say that was the shape of the unshaded diamonds. These could both contain a four, perhaps. I'm not sure about that, but that's that's something I was just thinking about. What does it mean if a diamond has a circle the circle is counting what circle counting it's going to be hard to keep track of this circles are counting shaded squares in the three by three box shaded squares in the three by three box so okay we've got two got two circled twos so in this box and this box there are only two shaded cells and in this box I've got a I've got a circled five so there are five shaded cells in this box sorry I'm st I'm, I'm just going to revisit the rules I don't see how to do this at all um, Oh, I forgot. I forgot there was that N thing going on. Right, what was the N thing? So the N thing... Okay, so the N thing... Ah. Ah, so we can limit N a bit. Right, okay, there are two shaded cells in box six. Now, they could... Oh, no, they can't be separate. That's huge. I was just thinking that um, if they were separate like that, then what that would be saying is that each of these has to add up to n separately, so they would be the same digit. Well, that's not going to work. So that tells us that the two cells in this box that are shaded are together. Now. Okay, so the maximum value of n we have now learned is 17 because if we shade those in and make them an 8 9 pair, that's the most we could that's the most we could put into a domino. So n is 17 or less. That's that's mm, I don't think that's very surprising. What about This is tricky, actually. This is tricky because we don't know. For example, I do know there's five shaded cells in this box, but I've no idea how they're disposed. I suppose you've got to get the corner cell out, haven't we? Because there's a there's a two cell sequence in this box. Oh, uh, yeah. OK, so somehow we've got to get this cell Not this, well, yes, this cell. This is shaded. It, there's something going on, I think, in terms of how, how we're going to get this shaded region, whatever it looks like down here, or maybe regions, out of, out of boxes six and eight. Because, for example, you we can't just cut across box eight, can we? Or cut down column eight, because that would take three cells. So I think something has to go into box five somehow from here. But I don't really understand. I don't really understand if that's particularly constrained or not, I have to say. Um, I'm just doing abysmally here. It is, hang on. <laughs> hang on. So do I know something about how this is going to get out. I mean, I suppose...
how is this divided up? Maybe that's a sensible way of approaching it. It could all be one region, couldn't it? So what, what I mean by that is, if... So I've got to be a bit careful. Let's say it did that. Say those five cells were all connected. That would work quite nicely. Although the, although the minimum sum that those cells would have would be 15, which is the triangular number for 5. If we filled those digits with 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then the 5 here, that would add up to 15. And therefore, whatever we put in this box and whatever we put in this box, that, that's, that's not going to work, actually. Oh, that's weird. That's... Oh, no, it's, no, it's fine. It's fine, because I don't have to get out through box 8. I was suddenly thinking that this square has become problematic, but it hasn't. Um, because we could join we could join the two cells in here. If, if n was 15, we could do that and just get... and do maybe that and have these add up to 15 in box 6. Um, so... So it would be a big win if we could if we could deduce that the five here was a connected series of five orthogonally connected cells in box nine, as opposed to well, how would we break it up actually? That's perhaps the question. How do you break the five into pieces that could work? You can't break the five. You can't break it into a four and a one. I don't even know how I do that. But, but for example, this. I mean, this is wrong for so many reasons. Because if you break it up like this, this, this is one cell, the maximum value of which would be nine. This is four cells, the minimum value of which would be 10. So this, this, this way of splitting up a box into a four and a one simply is impossible in this puzzle. Which means that, I think this is interesting actually, because we, st we have to get this out. So it has to be, as Maverick flies ever lower over the house. Um, see, if this was a three and a two, you can't get out, can you? If, if, what I'm thinking is, if we split the five here into a section of three in this box and a section of two, how do you get the five out? You can't, you can't, you simply can't do it because I can get to the five to the edge of the box, but then it, then it's going to need to avail itself of a two in one of these boxes and the two isn't going to take it far enough. So it, it would get stranded. So I think, I think I'm concluding, I might be, I might, I'm just going to mull this for a moment or two longer, but I think I'm concluding that this five is five connected seek five connected cells, and that's going to be huge because now, if that's right, n, which we know is a maximum of seventeen from this box and this box, is now either fifteen, sixteen, or seventeen. So let's just revisit. How could we divide? It's got to be. No, it doesn't. Yeah, because you you've got to get this out. And you can't do it with a four because then the four and the one juxtaposition won't work. It's a five. So this is a five cell sequence adding up to at least 15. Now. Okay, it's not that five cell sequence for what that's worth. That won't work. That V pentomino of fiveliness is not going to help us because then these twos again are not going to are not going to do enough to get this to be able to connect to the rest of the grid. So it's not a V. But I think it can be lots of a Oh hang on, I'd forgotten the rule. What what was the rule about the square thing? Ah, oh, I, I, I've, I've forgotten another rule. There's quite a lot of rules to remember here. Squares, squares are cave clues. Right, so it's not just that this has got five. Oh, so this can't be a W. There's no way it can be a W. Oh, 
Oh, hang on. Now I'm really confused. This has got to C. So, so that would have been a shape that would have worked from the perspective of 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 the fact that we have to see five cells because if it had been that this this does see five it sees one two vert it sees three vertically and two horizontally so or, or or vice versa it pays your money it takes your choice it it so I'm confused now because I need this to C5 oh I see no that doesn't work what about that no that, does, that doesn't work at all oh so it's hang on hang on hang on Yeah, okay. All right. So, so what we can do is we can pentominoify this, can't we? Because this is in a corner. Effectively, we have to come up with an, a standard pentomino shape that can fit over that five that works. And we've worked out V doesn't work. Now, what about L? And it could be an L that way. Well, hang on. No, it, no, it could be an L that way. We've got to, we've got to make sure this cell sees five. So it could be that, or it could be that. But that that we know both of those shapes don't work. Because and the reason we know both of those shapes don't work is that what we end up with if we do either of those shapes is an isolated cell here that that can, can't get out of box six or an isolated cell here that can't get out of box eight. Right, so this is an I. This is an I pentomino. Oh, I, oh, I see. Yeah, I've spotted it. I understand now. Right, so what it's doing is it's doing something like that. It's doing something like that, which, 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 which basically consumes the entirety of the box six um, uh, jobby jobby, the two clue. But don't forget that's fine. That's fine because we can still we can still get out of this box by doing that. There we go. And then then we can avail ourselves of the other two in the other one of these, and that's going to allow us to. No, that's not, well. That's not going to work actually. <laughs> oh, this might. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm starting to understand this. It's an absolutely fascinating start. But this, this doesn't work. Although there might be other. Yeah. Okay. I've now. I've got it right. So this. This is. Well, we're on the right lines, but. But. This doesn't work because of this beautiful five, this given five. We've got how many given digits? We've got five given digits today. A Sudoku with only five given digits and some shapes. But this five is beautiful because we know the total for N is 15. So if we have a shape like this to get out of the box, or we had that shape that would get us out of the box and it would work because we could then do a domino here to get us into box five without breaking either of these two clues the problem with this five is it's if it's shaded it's got to have a partner which is a 10 at least and that's impossible you have to take this this cell because to, because to get out of this box because we know we're looking at an eye pentomino either here or here we then have to branch off it in this box and get out. And when I say get out, remember that to, to get out, once we've done the branch from, from the I pentomino, 
we've got to get across to this box. So we can't branch and then take, take more cells up here because there are no more cells up here. So we've got to branch, get across to the other box, the other of boxes six and eight, and then we've either got to use, and then we've got to get to box five. So we're either gonna use those two squares, or if we have a V pentomino here, or a branch there, we've got to have that one and then that one, or that one, I suppose. But we're always using the five is the key, and that's not ever gonna work. So what we're being told by Zendari here, in the most obtuse manner possible, is that this is wrong. This is wrong. We have to have an I pentomino along the bottom of the grid, hitting a green, that's this is completed now that box is completed because it's got its two shaded cells in it so all of those are green that's an enormous um green area which might be difficult to attach to that is it the diamond shape that counts green areas can't remember but let's let's now focus on how we're getting out of this box so the five is completed so that's green we have to branch we can't go into the two. So it's got to be those two, doesn't it? But we don't, what we don't know is how, is how this branch is happening. The branch is either like that and then like that to get out of, into box five, or it's this, and it's always getting that, it's always having that cell in it. In fact, it's always, yes, it's always having both of those cells. We just don't know I don't know whether it's that domino or that domino is the way of getting out of box nine. But it's always these two because it can never include the two because two would have to be added to at least 13 because we know that N is at least 50. <laughs> um, oh, no, all right, so I do know. I do know which way round it is, don't I? Let me do the maths on that. One plus three plus four plus five plus six, I want to say is too many. It's far too many, isn't it? Um, so what I'm, what I'm noticing is that if I do that to get out of box nine, I can't put two in this shape. So the minimum this could be would be one, three, four, five, six which i think is 19 but i might be wrong um is it 18 it doesn't matter if it's 18 or 19 it's still too many why can't i just instantly do that for some reason i felt it was the triangle number for 21 minus 2 which is 19 uh, but then when i did it again in my head i didn't get that number or three, four, five. Yeah, no, it is 19. Yeah, that, so that makes sense. Okay, good. So 19 is too many because this domino cannot add up to 19. So we can't have that. This is fascinating. So it's got to be that. Ruth, if this is your first puzzle you're ever seeing, you must think, what on earth? What's Gareth doing? What's Gareth doing when he's watching these videos? Um, I'm sorry, this, this is quite complicated. This is unusually complicated, but, but for people like me, extremely interesting. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to do that, which allows us now to have a two. So there must be a two in here. We've just well, that's that's effectively the corollary of what we've just worked out, and that two is going to be in this domino, and therefore there's a two up there by Sudoku. These two squares add up to at least fifteen, so they are from six, seven, eight, and nine. They are the two shaded cells in box six, so all of those turn green. This is a nine. Oh, this is no. This is this is absolutely massive, because not only is this a nine, but I'm going to be able to um, pen it in, um, and it looks like a nine, which is weird. That's almost got to be deliberate. That is a nine. Um, let me just check. Di as diamonds are counting, aren't they? Yeah, diamonds are unshaded. And the digit in the diamond is the sum of the unshaded cells orthogonally connected in the group it's in. So that's nine. So we can't put more than nine in that. So that's got to be made into a, a sort of an enclosed region. 
and that that is a nine. Well, 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 see, and if that's a nine, I can't put nine in there. Oh, this is it. This is it. Because now, how do I make that add up to at least 15, which must be the minimum total for those squares? Well, I've got to now eliminate the 6 as a possibility. That is 7, 8, and we know n. So n is 15, which means that I now can fill in this with the triangular numbers. Ha ha ha! Um, because this is... Um, this has got to be uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Which, and we know the 2 is not there. Um, so I know 9 is in one of these squares now. So 9 is in one of those squares. I can't remember what, what's... Uh, oh, is it possible really for that to be a 9 in a circle? That would be telling us all of those squares are shaded in. There's pro I can't. Oh no, that can't be right because then then n couldn't possibly be 15. Right, so that's not a nine. Yeah. Okay. So oh, there's a lot to keep track of here. Okay, how do we get this out? We know it's got to come out through there because we've got to make sure we've got orthogonal connections between everything. These two squares have to add up to 15, so they are from six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, now, what would happen if this was green? Then we'd have another 9 in a diamond, but that diamond is also circled. So that would be saying there were 9 shaded cells in this box, and there, are, there definitely aren't because of that green one. So that is shaded. It's shaded and it's not connected to its friends yet, so it's got to go up there. Um, that one, this sort of pennant shaped region is already of size 9, so it can't join to that. Um, okay, I'm getting stuck now. We, we, we got off to an, a very interesting start, and now I'm getting stuck. Um, I'm not, not really sure where the weak point is here. <laughs> I haven't got a clue where I'm meant to look. Is this obvious? There's a five in one of those squares. That circle is counting how many... Oh, I, suppose, I suppose if n is 15... No, you see, the thing is, you could make those three squares add up to 15, and then you could have like a domino at the top that added up to 15, that was delineated from this this section. These have to add up. Well, they don't have to add up to 15 at all, because it depends how many of these squares are shaded. We, we know one of those at least is shaded. So if both of those were shaded... Oh! Well, here's something I can tell you. These two squares are one shaded and one unshaded. I don't... Let's have a colour for that, shall we? Um, because I think this is right. If these were both... Uh, yeah, if these were both unshaded, gr this green would connect to here, and this should be at least a 12 or something, which it can't be. So these are not both unshaded. If these were both shaded, those five cells would have to add to 15. But then, I still need to have a shaded cell in here, because otherwise this green is connecting to this again, and it's going to be a 13 that time which is even worse, so there must be a shaded cell there. And even if that was the only shaded cell, that couldn't contain a 15 on its own. So there would have there has to in fact be two other shaded cells, which is totally impossible. So there is, so this is one shaded and one unshaded. Which means, but because, oh, I'm getting confused now. 
I've got, I've got to have a shaded here. Oh, yes. So all I've got to do is do something like that, isn't it? That's going to work. Yeah, okay. So this box, this box here has got five shaded cells in it, which means that's a five, I think. But we don't know the shape of the five shaded, shaded cells. Oh, but hang on, if that's the five, I can't make... Oh, no, 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 I've made a mistake here. Something I've, something I've done is not making sense. Um, because what I've just realised is I can't do that. What I'm, what I was, what I'm mulling over is how on earth do I get enough shaded cells in this box that I cut this diamond off from this this region, this great lawn of greenliness down here, while at the same time not making this add up to too many and what i've just realized is this so let's say i did that which would cut this diamond off but then i have to put five in here as the number of shaded cells in the box and then i can't make those add up to 15 anymore because they couldn't have a five in them <laughs> so so I've, I've not understood something about this. Let me think about it again. I think I'd better think it out again. We're reviewing the situation. It's wrong to be a rogue in every way. But no, no, it's not that, is it? It's wrong to be a rogue in every way. So, a uh, boss I'm getting possibly, no, so a job I'm getting possibly, I wonder who my boss will be, I wonder if he'll take to me what bonuses he'll make to me, I'll start a date and finish late at overtime and overrate, I think I better think it out again. Oh, um, oh. now I'm thinking about Lionel Bart, I don't want to think about Lionel Bart, I want to think about this. There's something I don't understand. I don't understand. You see, I can't shade that. If that's a five, I can't make that. Um, I can't make that shaded. Because I know one of these is shaded, which means this is a four. And that should be a 15, which it's not. It's, it's 10 short. Because I can't join this to the four. So, that, so, okay, so the other alternative is that this is more than five, but now I'm, now I'm, <laughs> I can't see how to do that. I, oh no, this gets out of the box because it can go there. Yeah, okay, I do see how I can do it actually. So I can make this, I can make this a six. I think. Yeah, okay, let's so I think it's I think it can't be seven, but if it's six then I can it, I can just do this. So my task now is to shade six cells in this box, which we know must be um a four and a two. Because and why do we know there are four and a two? We, because we know there's at least a four. Because this this three is connecting to one of these orthogonally. So that's creating a four size. We know we can't have a five size. Because if we have a five size, the only way of doing that is to write five into the circle. And that the circle will not be shaded and that will not work. So then we need the five in the shape. So we, we can have a six. Which, which must be a four and a two, which means I have to, I have to shade two of these three cells that such that they don't touch the shape over here, which is four large. So this can't be shaded. That can be unshaded. That can be shaded. And now I could shade those two. That would be green. This can be nine 
because it can add up to 15. And that works is my contention. And that's got to be shaded to get the shaded cells to connect to the rest of the grid. QED. Uh, oh, I was about to write two into that, but that's not necessarily true, is it? It depends whether this one goes up here or not. Nine has to be down here. This is this is still absolutely fascinating. Thing is, there's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to juggle. When the more of these shapes you introduce into a puzzle like this, the the more I'm likely, at least, to forget one of the constraints. And like, you know, I I'm not. It's very hard to know instinctively, at least for me, where the weakness is are in the puzzle. Where, where should I be looking now? Circles count shaded cells. So that's at least, that's at least, a th no, it's more than three, isn't it? That's at least a four. It's not a five. So that's four, six. You see, again, how big can this really be? If it was seven, how on earth are we splitting this up into pieces that add up to n? You can't. You can't put seven in here. If you put seven in, this two has to get out. So it's taking that or that or both. And once it takes that or that, you can't fit any more different regions into this box. So it might, might be impossible for this to be six, actually. Yeah, I mean, yes, it is. It is. Because the only way you can do six is like that. That creates two distinct regions which could add up to 15 individually, but that strands this domino. And that's not going to work. So I think, I think that is a four. And that's interesting because that's telling us that as this grows here or here, that's the last, that's the last shadedness we have in this box. So all three of those have got to be unshaded. Um, Oh, but hang on now. <laughs> okay, this is lovely. This is lovely because now that that sort of does both things because now the diamond comes into play and tells us that that is the size of that region, which means it must be framed by shaded cells, which completes the number of shaded cells in this box, which means that's unshaded and this has to get out. So that's shaded. <laughs> this is comical. It's absolutely amazing. Now, if that's a four, those are not four anymore. So this is a one, three pair. Now that means that we get a two, four pair vertically. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Um, these two squares add up to 15. I've just seen that because, and that's because look, we're only left with sixes, sevens, eights, and nines to complete row nine. But we know that is an N domino, don't we? That's got to add up to 15. These have got to add up to 15. So in fact, what we've got here is we've got a foursome adding up to 15 and a threesome. But that's because of the secret. Now, the secret is something I only share with my very favorite people. But if you're watching this video, you're definitely one of those people. Um, the secret is that because any complete row, column or box of a Sudoku contains the digits one to nine once each, it sums to 15. Now, so that means a fifth, sorry, did I say 15? I did, didn't I? Sums to 45, I've got 15 on the brain. Sums to 45. <laughs> but in this box, why, why, why have I got 15 on the brain? Well, that domino sums to 15, those four cells sum to 15, and I know that 45 is three lots of 15. So that's got to sum to 15 as well. Now, no, it's not really. It's still not telling us whether this can be a two or not. If that's a two, these have to be a five eight pair. Um, okay, maybe we use what's the funny square rule? The square rule is counting how many cells. Well, for this square, it's interesting because this square sees no cells horizontally. So it we're just doing the count of how many shaded cells there are in this column. And it's at least a three. So it's a three or okay, it's not four or five by Sudoku. So it's three or six, which would take it to there. 
or seven or eight. Three, six, seven or eight. I mean, I mean again. Is there a re is there a reason it can't be one of those things? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, this one is counting how many shaded cells are in this box. So that's a, it's not a two because it sees. Oh, it's definitely not a two because this has got to get out of this box. So to get out. Oh, this 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 is big. This is big. I've just, I think. Okay, how am I concluding this is big? Well, at the moment this is a stranded grey section, so it's got to connect to the rest of the grid. Now, if it just took one more cell, this grey section here, it, it's still not going to connect, is it? So it's got that's got to take at least two more cells to get out. But it can, this cell can't be a four because by Sudoku, so that is at least a five. Um. Yeah, but again, that could be that could be a six. So what I'm seeing there is if that's a six, you could do you could shade those in and shade those in and have each of these adding up to 15. So I'm not sure we can rule that out. I think we can rule out seven because if it was seven, how would we split it up? This would have to be at least four. So you could could you have a four and a three? No, you couldn't, because how would you not how would you not orthogonally connect? Seven no you you no you can't do it because you can keep threes apart like that, but then once you take one of the middle cells, the sevens are going to orthogonally connect, and you can't have seven different cells adding up to fifteen. So this is five or six. now well what we want to do now is to force there to be a nine in here that would be useful because then we couldn't or maybe the nine can't be in there hang on hang on if the nine no the nine can be only just though the nine could be in here. We know that this, this domino is extending to be at least of size four. So if there was a nine in there, we could partner that up with one, two and three and get to 15. And that's the only way you could do it. And in fact, No, I don't think I don't think we can rule anything out there. I'm not sure. If that's five. Cool, that, that gets very tricky as well actually. If that's five. Because if that's five, how would how are we gonna make that work? Because this domino has to grow. We know that it's growing to at least size four. But if this is five, we have to make a decision about whether this is shaded or unshaded. Now, if this is unshaded, then, then, then the world is broken. There is no way to connect this up. Because we can't have an orthogonal sequence of five now in this box, because that can't add up to 15, because there's no five available. So we have to split it up into, into but how can we split it up? Because this, this has to be at least of size four. And we can't have a four and a one split, because it won't add up to 15. So that has to be shaded, is what we've just learned. If this is five, it has to be shaded. Oh, now it's <laughs> now I can't see how to do it either. But OK, so then then you've got to not have nine in here. I oh, know maybe it's fine, actually. It's fine, I think. 
I think I'm... Yeah, so then you've got... Then you could do something like that, could you? Providing that you make the shape that you put into box 4 uh, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 quadruple, I think you're okay. So you have to avoid taking all three of these squares, so that would definitely be unshaded. And, and would be a 9. Seven is up there in this box. Okay, uh, so I think the the upshot of all this is that we I can't rule out five from this square. In fact, if it was six, that would force that to be a six. I'm now seeing by Sudoku, which may or may not be possible. There's no two by two rule in this puzzle. I don't think is there. Okay, so we've got to we've got to come up with more logic now. Um. What about, where is the logic that we're going to find? Um, this four, what's that saying? That's saying that's of size four and there are four. Oh, these cells have to add up to, oh, that's, oh, this is huge. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's a three. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is it. This is it. Because, um, why is this a three? Well, this is a big number. This, these, these four cells have to add up to 15. If that's a 6, which is the least it could be if it's not 3, that's at least 7. They're adding up to 13. I can't make those add up to, to 2 without them being double 1. So that is 3. But if that's 3, why is this massive? It's making that unshaded because this 3 is seen its 3 cells. So that's unshaded. And we, we proved just now that if this was unshaded... It cannot be a 5. So that is a 6. Now if this is a 6, we have to divide, we have to get this out. We have to get this out in exactly 4. Because we can't get it out in 3, it won't get out. And we can't get it out in 5, because that's going to leave a 1 behind, which can't be a 15 on its own. So the only way, well, the no, there are two ways of doing it, actually. I was about to say the only way of doing it is... That's weird. No, so there are two ways of doing it, I think. You could do those that domino, and then these two squares, and these two squares would have... No, that doesn't... Okay, that doesn't work for a beautiful reason. That doesn't work because of the 7 here, combining with the 6 here. This domino cannot add up to 15, because it can't be 6, 9, or 7, 8. So that doesn't work. So the only way of doing it is to connect this up here and then have that as a domino. And now this domino adds up to 15 and doesn't involve a 6. So that is a 7-8 pair, I think. That's not 7 anymore. There is a 7 in here. These two are both green. And this hasn't got out, so that's got to come up here. This needs to get out somehow at the top. There's a 7-8 pair, look, in box 5 by Sudoku. 6 goes here by our old friend Sudoku. There's a 6-9 pair in box 9 by Sudoku. So this is a 7-8 pair. Um, we've got lots of low numbers in the rest of this column. I'm going to pencil mark them. Uh, we've got, oh, there's a 6-9 thing going on up here. What's a circle? What's a circle mean? A circle, that's a six. Ah, there's loads of ways of doing that again. I think it might fall. If that's a six, it might force both of those to be shaded, but that's neither here nor there. Okay. Okay, so what do we now know? <laughs> do we know more than we did before? That is not a particularly large number now. That is a max. That is two, three, four, or five. It's got to be two because it's already seeing two, and it can't be any high number. So what we really want to know is whether that's green. That is one thing I want to know. The other thing I'm just going to come back to for a moment is: can I, can I deduce more? No. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. I was about to say: can I limit this number? 
but I don't think I can. I know those three digits add up to 12, but that could be a 9 with a 1-2 pair. Okay, all right, there can't be an 8. I'm going to take that. In fact, it can't be a 7 either. Right, this is... The, oh, that's it. This is just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Right, so this digit is exciting now because we know that these three digits add up to 12 because those four digits add up to 15. Now, if this is 8... This has to be a 1-3 pair. That mimics 3 in the box. That's very bad. Naughty, naughty, naughty. We're not doing that. If there's 7, these two have, have to add up to 5 without using 3 or 4. 1, 4 and 2, 3. That's not going to work either. So this becomes 6, 9. We said those add up to 15. So that's now a 6, 9 pair. And that means this is a 7, 8 pair. Oh, no, this is bad. And no, it's... A... Oh, hang on. I'm now worried that I've broken the world. This this looks deadly to me. Is this a deadly pattern or have I? Is there some feature of these rules that resolves this? I don't think there is, is there? Oh, no, there is. There is, because this is in a thing that has to add up to 15. OK, so we're still OK. I was, I was worried. I mean, imagine this was a classic Sudoku with no shading. This would have two solutions because there's nothing about the internal logic that would say why this shouldn't be double seven and that double eight or this double eight and this double seven there's no but here we can use the fact that that has to add to 15 so we are still safe potentially um okay well that's good but i mean if that's eight that has to be one two four if that's seven, there's always a one in one of these three cells. Is that important? Don't think so. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> I just feel I've just run smack into a brick wall. Ah, no, I haven't. I haven't, of course. That foursome has to add to 15 and it does contain a 9 so we know exactly what its contents are 1, 2, 3 and 9 that's not 9 that's not 3 these squares have got to be a 4, 5 pair which is apparently not resolved that's not 2 so there's definitely a 2 here there's definitely a 2 in one of those squares we want the 2 to be here that would be very helpful that would sit, that would make this grey. Which would feel like it was some sort of progress. That's this digit here is counting the horizontal and vertical components of this, isn't it? So that is at least a four. It's already seeing four. So it's four, five. Five. Five would have to be that digit only. Five. So if that was if that was five, you couldn't shade this in because that would make this six. In fact, that can't be six apparently. Oh, it can't be six because of this. How could that be seven? It doesn't seven run into the... Oh no, hang on. I'm now confusing circles and squares in my brain. Sorry. That can't be seven. That, that is true. This is at least three. Uh, there's definitely there's definitely some sort of restriction in this box. I, I'm, my brain is being recalcitrant about telling me how how I'm meant to resolve this cleanly. But the, th the sorts of things I'm seeing are that, that I haven't got a whole world of low digits to use. So I, I just feel that this extending up this way is tricky. 
if this is if this is not if this is not five it can't be six or seven it's it's then eight exactly so that is very restricted eight seems impossible what's that doing it feels more like the restriction is this way to me because well let's just, just think about that i i feel that's now that is impossible that is impossible you cannot shade both those cells and the reason you can't shade both those cells is that that region would then have to sum to n it would have to be 15 because you can't make it any bigger and you can't make it add to 15 because those two low digits are not available and we know you need the digits 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So that's simply not going to work. So can you do 1? Can you do that is the next question. Now if you do that, again, because this cell is not part of the piece, this is the total limit of shaded cells, isn't it? That's as many as we could have. We can't extend this any further. Because to do so, to take one of those, requires that digit to be in the, in the parcel, and it's not. So what then is this? Well, that digit would then be a 4. So that would be a 1, 2, 3, triple. Four. That would have to be... Yeah, but this is this is breaking the bank again. It's because if you make this four, because this becomes a one, two, three, triple, what are those two digits? It's beautiful. Well, I was going to say the minimum they could be is five and six, but even that's not going to work because you can't have six here. So actually, but 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 imagine you could have. Imagine that could that the the minimum we we know if that's four, even if this wasn't six nine, the minimum those three digits sum to is four, five, six, which is already 15. And once you add that digit in, you're gonna break the bank. So that doesn't work. So you can't do this. You can't do this, which means that's got to be green. So we are not, we are not extending this upwards anywhere, but we don't know. Well, no, we do. We do now know that's gray, I think, because if this wasn't gray, if that's green, this is all unconnected, which means we have got to get out through the top of the grid like that. And that's going to put far too many shaded cells together in box three. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So that is shaded. That knocks out this from being four or five. That is now eight, I'm going to contend. That means we go all the way along there. That square is now green to make the eight correct. That fixes my eight and seven down here. seven comes into the equation up here but we know we know this is not seven because we can't we get seven would force orthogonal connection across the box a seven cell region which is not going to work with n so if that's six seven nine that is six but if that's six i've now got to split it up again okay but i can do it this time i could have four and two could i or perhaps i could have three and three but that's that's very cool. That's very cool. So we we found a seven nine pair at the top. The, well, no, here we go. Look, you can't have. We're already on fourteen, so that's got to be a one. And that this needs to be rinky dinked off. That's that's a complete that's a complete no no. So that six is formed of this, which hasn't connected to the rest of the grid. So that's got to come out at the top. Uh, this is at least a four. Uh, it's at least a four. It can't be five. Uh, so it's four, six, seven, eight, or nine, I think. There's probably a reason it can't be one of those things, but I don't know what it is. Um, we know those add up to 15 by the secret. We've got three bands of 15 in this box, just as we had three, three sort of squiggles of green in this box. Two. Oh no, I was about to say something that was total and utter gibberish. Don't speak gibberish, Simon. It won't help you solve the puzzle. 
Um, oh, come on. Oh, well, that this is this is two now. That is two because um, th that region is of size two. And we know those three add up to 15, don't we? From the work we did earlier. So these two add up to 13 and that's got to be an eight because if it was seven, that would be a six. So that's a five. This is a seven. That's not seven anymore. The seven and the eight at the bottom of the grid are resolved. These three digits add up to eight and they aren't they don't involve a two so they're one three and four which they have to be by sudoku but that makes sense we don't know very much about low digits actually oddly um in this row four has to be here so that becomes a one or a three one three four and five into these squares one, three, four, five, and that's not four because of the two, four pair. So this square is one, three, or five by Sudoku, and there's definitely a five in this domino, so that's not a five. Um, okay. Okay, so how are we doing now? We are... I think we're still alive. I think we're still going. But, but I need to do more thinking now to work out what to do next. Um, okay. We know that this has to extend, don't we? Because otherwise we've stranded something. That, oh, oh, that's it. Right, this can't be four. Because if that's four, I have to close this off and that's a six cell region which can't add up to 15 this is gorgeous because if that's not four that's now at least six so it's got to escape these two as green and this hasn't connected yet so that's now coming right along the top of the grid right hang on how could that be nine then if that's nine oh it's not eight either hang on hang on this is huge if that can't how could how could this be nine it would have to take that one and that one and then if you imagine that that's we've created a wall of green there you can never orthogonally connect the, the gray at the top to this gray if those two are both green so that's six and if that's six it's finished and that's gray and now now we can't now that's it we've done all the shading because if we were to extend this by even one more cell it can't add up to 15 because it's got a seven in it and if we were going to try and have a domino here let's say shadedness it's isolated from the rest of the grid so all of those are green that is a four by the power of numbers because there are four shaded cells so that's five that's a four um that seems to me I mean that's a five which might be good um, or not has this helped <laughs> come on um, okay that's not a four anymore it would be so typical of me to now stumble on the sudoku I think I think there's all sorts going on though oh I tell you one thing that's going on those three squares add up to eight um, in order to give us our 15 total and we can't use one three four so that's a one two five combination and that's not a one so there's a one in this domino which makes that a three which means these squares are now a one two nine triple which tells us these squares are now a three four pair and that's a one and that's a three and that's a one and that's a four. Oh, we're gonna get a we might get a three in the corner up here you know it's possible these two squares are five and something four and five by sudoku the one and the three are done at the bottom of the grid come on okay um, um now where should we look we do we still have the ability to make this a one two pair is that really true if it's not a one two pair what are we looking at we've got to make this that's going to be a six then so these have to add up to six without using four so they'd be oh so there's always a one in this domino it's either one two or one five so that, but there is always a one in it which do, actually doesn't do anything ah oh, that's rotten you rotten naughty puzzle 
Ah, no, okay, no, it's still good, because there's a 1 here, remember. So that is a 1, always. And this square is a 2 or a 5, which works, which gives us a 1, 2, 5, triple, makes this square have to equal 9. And therefore we get the 1 and the 2 in this box. That's become a 5, so this is now a 1, 2 pair, which makes this a 5. Um, okay, well, that's done it then. So that's got to be 6, that's got to be 9 to make the maths work. And we haven't put 2, 7 and 8. That's an 8, that's a naked single. So 8 and 7 go in. That's 7, that's 2 by Sudoku. That's 2, that's 4. Um, 1, 6, 9, that's a naked single. Can't be 6 or 9. So that's a 6 or a 9. Have we got any maths we can avail ourselves of from anywhere? Where's the maths? Show me the maths. <laughs> this is four or five. Oh, well, it's four and five. We can do those. Um, oh, well, there is more maths, actually, thinking about it. Yes, we've got, we've got one of these stripey 15 situations here, haven't we? Because that's 15 and that's 15. So that's 15 by the secret. And this is six. So these are nine and they're not four, five. They're not three, six. They're either two, seven or one, eight. And they can't have a two in them. So they've got to be 1, 8, and they've got to be this way round, I think. And that puts those in, and that puts... The, oh, no, we didn't get a 3 in the corner, you rotten old thing. Okay, by Sudoku, that's 7 or 9. It could be either. Don't believe it. Okay, okay. It was nearly, nearly useful. What about this column? We've not put in 3, 4, and 7. Uh, can we de yes where does seven go in this column only at the top now that means nine is in this stripe and we know it adds up to 15 and doesn't use a one so this is nine two four so that's a naked single that's all get gets resolved that gives us the sixes and the nines at the bottom of the grid these two squares are three four and nine so that's three that's nine, that's four, that's four, that's three, that's three up there, and that's something, five probably. Um, this is six and eight. Yes, six goes in the corner. Eight, eight, seven, nine, three. Have we done, and we might have done it. We might just have done it, you know. What a puzzle. That's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> solve counter three. Yep, it definitely, definitely doesn't have many people who solve this. <laughs> that was wonderful that was wonderful fascinating baffling um and really very cool and ruth if you are still watching very well done on staying staying with that puzzle because that if that's your first variant sudoku um your mind's probably properly bro blown by that um but I mean, it's quite brilliant. I mean, imagine setting that. Imagine having the wit to to feed all of those interactions together. Even just to come up with the idea of the start. I presume this is the start, this five thing. I mean, it's really remarkable that there's only one way. If you put twos in these boxes, there's only one way of getting this out with, if you make this a five. That's beautiful. It was just beautiful. And then, And then you could quickly show that n was 15 i can't quite remember how i did that i think it was there but i'm not sure um yes i think it was because i managed to get a nine there didn't i yeah it's brilliant what a brilliant puzzle a, a worthy sequel and thanks to those of you who recommended it um much appreciated let me know in the comments how you got on i enjoy the comments especially when they're kind and we'll be back later with another edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>